Personally, I hate it when the answer choices to these vocab questions are these kind of like doubles where you've got a word and then maybe some extra word, mostly because it makes it hard to then read the sentence without the words in there because you kind of just feel like there's too much missing, but we're going to try it anyway. Uh, Nigerian American author Teju Cole's something, his two passions, photography and the written word, culminates in his 2017 book, Blind Spot, which evocatively combines his original photographs from his travels with his poetic prose. So it does feel like we don't have a lot to go on here, but there are two words that jump out is maybe like very important here, certainly the word passion, and then maybe it's a lesser known word to you, but evocatively, hopefully at the very least, you know that the connotation of both these words is positive. So we're looking for something positive here. It's not coming out and saying that, but like the words are strongly suggesting that. And so that would get rid of certain words about like, like uh, concern, right? Concern is either worry or just kind of interest in, but it's not positive, it's neutral at best. And then indifference, you need to know what that means. If you're indifferent to something, uh, you just don't care. So if you don't care, then you're probably not passionate. So that doesn't match with that word passion. And there is nothing that suggests surprise. Maybe surprise to you is positive, but it also has this extra meaning of something unexpected. And we don't have any words in these lines that kind of suggest unexpected uh, anything. So enthusiasm is just purely a positive word. You're enthusiastic about your passions. If something is evocative, it, it means that it kind of like uh, generates a lot of emotion or kind of makes you feel things. And so it's usually a positive word. And so both of those things together just suggest some kind of like generic positivity and enthusiasm is a generically positive word. So it's a good fit. So it's okay sometimes if you don't have a, a clear idea of what they're going for when you first read the lines, still look for strong words that convey certain connotations, certain meanings, and then look for similar ideas in the answer choices.